those hips to get that good throw, which will allow us to follow the throw too. We don't want to catch it throwing and stay in the same spot. We're going to catch it, push off, and our body should be able to see we're going in the direction of our throw. Love it. All right, guys, 60 seconds. I don't care if you've got a sock or a tennis ball or a wiffle yeah. ball or a ping pong ball. You might be bare hand, whatever, but find a wall, throw it up against, glove foot to the throwing foot, and then maybe a little bounce on that back knee just to say, yep, I've got power. Yep. And, and rinse and repeat. Boom. And I'm going to do it with you guys, me and Coach Duke. See if you can beat us. See if you can get as many as we're getting. Boom. I'm a right-handed thrower, so I'm catching with my left. So my brain is really saying left, right. Left, right. I know sleepover is a lefty. You're saying the opposite, right? You're catching it with that right foot and then hopping to the left. Yep. Just think about, yeah, just think about whatever hand your glove is, that's the foot you want to catch with. There you go. my left, I step with my left. Boom, and freeze. All right, very good. Now, hopefully you have the ability um, to rotate over. So now, let's say that's second base and I'm the first baseman. I'm going to toss the ball up against the wall, and now I'm going to pivot this way. What am I trying to do here, Coach Baxter, if I'm a first baseman? And I'm trying to get the force out at second. Let's say I'm right here. And we can go ground balls now, field the ground ball, pivot to there. What am I trying right. to do to be successful, Coach? Well, one of the things that you want to do is so I'm going to toss the ball this way. I'm going to toss it for opposites. I'm going to toss it. I'm going to try to throw the ball like the way Coach Ballgame is saying. I want to try to turn to my glove shoulder. If I can get myself to do this, I can really, if I can pop with my left, because then I can get myself moving to my target. Try that, Coach Ball game. When I catch it, oh, it's much quicker to get that good side throw. Yeah. So your feet are going to replace. It's getting... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Now, so one sometimes... quick... Oh, yeah, keep going. I cut you off. What were you got? Yeah, that's okay. Because sometimes if the ball's thrown this way, then doing this is faster. Right. But if it's thrown right to me, oh. My feet are going to pop and go, so depending on where the throw is, that will kind of dictate what my feet do. Love it. Let's go 30 seconds here, guys. 30 seconds. So now we're turning glove side yeah. boom, to right here as best you can. Let's say you've got right. a ball that takes you uh, arm side, then yes, just go right there. On there the you marks. go. That's it. Yeah, solid. Go. Boom. Yeah. Because then you're turning right to your, that's called the power turn. It's your power show. There you go. Power and turn. And it takes you the other way, that's when you got to kind of pop your, there you go. That's it. Boom. All right. Pause. Pause. Quick question. Um, I want to have good accuracy on this throw. So uh, toes, knees, hips, shoulders, uh, where should they be lined up? Perfect. I call them all my checkpoints. My checkpoints are my feet. My right foot, my left foot, if I draw a line, it should go to my target. My left shoulder, my right shoulder, if I drew a line, it should go to my target. And my glove is pointed right at my target. So everything is all lined up, my checkpoints. So when I shuffle, I'm going right here, you go. Boom, there it is. Everything's lined up. Feet, shoulders, boom. And now when I go to throw, everything's staying right on track. Now that's why these pause drills are so good because you can be your own teacher. You can check all your checks checkpoints you feel the ball and you pause Boom. how's my toes how's my knees hips shoulders lastly what about this ball is there an effective place to have this puppy before yeah, I, fire? What I like to do coaches i like to kind of think of it if you think of it like this if i were to take this little rubber band and i were to attach it to my elbow in this position here you see how i kind of treat the 90 degree angle yep so when i feel the ball I want to get to that position to where the 90 degree is just like this, and then it's going to rotate, and I'm going to throw in a 90 degree like this. Love so it. Just in, boom, there you go. So I'm right in this position. So this is the this is the perfect position I want to be in, because then when I go to throw, I'm going to rotate. This is then going to happen. And then I throw. So it's an easy way to kind of feel yourself. Boom. Get to that quick position to to pop again. Yeah. I love it. Let's go 30 more seconds. Knott's very warm. It's in the house. Water slide. 
We're in the house on your marks. Let's go glove side turn. Get set. Go. To that 90 degree spot. Nice. That's it. Very good, very good. And pause. Team meeting pose. Team meeting pose. Eyes on me and coach. If you're on YouTube, we are live on Instagram with Coach Duke Baxter of Zone Sports. Appreciate him coming along with us today. Um, so that's just a good warm up to got to get our hands and feet going. Let's talk to our eight year olds, our nine year olds, even our 12, 13 year olds about fielding the ball. All right, we've 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 gotten uh, we've gotten to a good place as far as our throwing position, but let's rewind it a couple of seconds. What in the world are we? Uh, what's our brain telling our feet and our hands to do when it's time to field a ground ball? Okay, good. So when we try to keep it simple, we're trying to think of. I want to try to line up the ball. If I were to hold my left arm or my glove arm, and if I were to hold it out, this is the most comfortable position. It's not necessarily in the center. See, as I cross here, I start getting tension. I want to feel the ball nice, easy, right over my left eye. My left shoulder is nice and relaxed, and I'm going to be in this position. So you can see how I'm nice and relaxed there. So I want to keep the ball in this position when I field to then come across and to make my throw. So if I were to make this a little bit lower for the for the viewers, you're fielding it right. Like, you're fielding it in front of your glove side eye. Is that right? Yes, just like this, boom, club side eye, so it's nice and relaxed, yeah. Because then when you go to fire your feet, it's forcing you to want to field the ball and go into the direction. The further I get across this way, now my eyes is kind of like, yep. I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Where when I field it, now I'm here. Love it. Good position. Love it. So let's do this, kids. Let's start with tennis ball or a baseball and your glove against the wall. And you're just firing the ball against the wall. And I want you to freeze right when you field it and check. Check to see if you're fielding that ball right in front of your glove side eye. For me, that's my left. Uh, it probably looks backwards on Instagram, but I'm throwing right. This is left. So field it right here. So do a little freeze drill and go ahead and go. Freeze right when you feel that. Check there. Freeze for about a second, second and a half, and just practice getting to that spot where you're feeling it right in front of your glove side eye. That's it. Freeze. Stay in that spot. Now, Give me a little sense of what my bee honkus and my toes. Um, nice. What, let's talk about the lower half a little bit at that position. All right, here we go now. We're talking about the lower half, okay? I almost want to take my right foot, okay? I'm throwing the first, and I almost want to place it where I catch the baseball at. So if I catch the ball here, I want my right foot to go into that same position. So if I lower this a little bit, so if I catch here, my foot, after I field it, oh. is going to pretty much replace where I catch. So it's kind of getting you, it's kind of pushing you in that area. Go, yeah. So See, let's, it's forcing let's, us to go to our target. I love that. Let's do this, guys. Put your glove on the ground. And for my YouTubers, we're live on Instagram if you want to hop over here as well. But you can hear Coach Duke Baxter even on the YouTube. Uh, I call it the triangle. Your two feet and your glove create this triangle, and you're right here on the glove side eye. That's where we want to uh, field the ground ball. And now put it on the ground, and from here, athletic. Nobody can push you over at that moment when you field the ball. Now substitute your right foot for your hand right there. And then right. back. Let's go 30 seconds. Let's get a major quad workout go. in here. Ready? Let's go. Fire. Boom, and back. For my lefties, you're opposite, right? It's the other hand, yep. other foot. Lefties will be here. Good. Boom. Remember that 90-degree angle Coach Duke was talking about when you fire? 
athletic position. Nobody can push you over. Boom. Very yeah. good. Left eye. Boom. All right. So now let's put it all together and let's see who can do the most in 60 seconds where you're fielding it off your glove side eye. Error on Coach Ballgame. Field it on your left side eye, and then, boom, pop right through. On your marks, get set, go. Come on, Coach Ball. Get oh, man, I, I got a bad hop on the carpet. I'm blaming that one you on got the it, carpet. You got it. Boom. Nice. Club side eye. Perfect. Boom. See, and Coach, Coach Ball, I'm a big believer of those visual, you know, those visual cues. You know, for a kid to think, a ball player to think, okay, my right foot goes where my glove is, it kind of gets gets them on direction and keeps them on, you know, keeps them in line. It's, it makes it easier for them to kind of think, not just shuffle to your target. It's like, you know, so you're giving them little cues. I love that. And keep going, guys. Another 30 seconds. But Coach Duke, I uh, it helps me in practice to kind of take a little freeze at each spot. Just to Definitely. really nail down these positions. Little freeze there. Boom. Before That's I fire. fire. Nice, nice, 20 nice. seconds. Boom. That's it. Good. I like the angles. Nice. And pause. If you need a water break like me, do so. It's a little <laughs> hot. A little sweaty. It's not hot in Germany. What's the temperature in Jersey, brother? 47. 47, a little chilly out yesterday. It was like 30. It was, it's crazy, buddy. Wow. No sweating going on over there. No. So no. let's rewind it another two seconds. So we've talked about um, this position of getting to when we're ready to fire. We've talked about the position at fielding it. Rewind right. it another second. I was an outfielder in college, but played a little bit of infield and was good friends with all the infielders. They were always trying to get around the baseball. That way, their two steps prior to fielding the ball took them to the target. Um, give us a sense of what a good infielder's got to do two seconds before they field the ground ball. Perfect. I'm trying to see if I can find something that I can show you, and that is... You know, if I were to, if you thought of like a of, a, of a banana, right? If you thought of a banana and you looked at it straight ahead, it would look like a straight line if you were a straight line. But if you turned like this, you would see the banana, you would see where the humps of the banana are. So when we get to the side of the baseball, it allows us to see the hops and be able to read the velocity of the ball. So if you go straight on to a flat picture, you can't read. Most errors are made on routine balls right at us. Right. Because we're not reading the bounce or the hop or the speed. So by taking that small step to the right of the ball, turns it into a 3D picture, which then helps us pick the hop we want to catch. I love that. 3D picture. Everybody say 3D picture. Right? 3D picture. The, the only place you're going to learn about 3D pictures and fielding the ground ball is right here, right now. And I love it. So... I'm sure you've seen pros do this. Maybe you've been taught this and you do this as well. But it also just looks really cool whenever the ball's hit right at you and you take that little step to the right before you go bang, bang there. And it's kind of like a dance. Now, I love to dance, Coach. And would you agree this is kind of like a dance move? Yes. We're there and then we're there. How am I doing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the ball's coming right at me. Just a little step here, Just and then I up. come through glove side eye. Everything looking good, good there? Hey, Coach Ballgame. Yeah. I even put up a little a line here. If you can see my little PVC pipe, another way that you can do it is by having the PVC pipe here. It's kind of allows you. I start separating the PVC as it's going to get to the right of the PVC, and then I come back. Nice. How about a bat if I don't have a PVC? Oh, there he is. There it is. Yeah, so you're just going to kind of use the, again, getting that visual, the, the line of the of the ball is like the bat. Right. So the ball's coming at you. You're going to get to the side and then come back through. So you kind of, you know what I'm saying? I love so it. Here I am. It's hit. I get around, and then I come back through the center. 
I love it. So, guys, we're just going to do a little dancing right now, a little dancing. Let's go glove right here where you're supposed to feel it. And we're going to be behind and imagine that ball's coming right at us. We're going to go to one side of the pipe or the bat, right? Then we're going to come through over across. And then we're going to substitute our right foot for where the glove is right there to go there. So we're not using any glove, but let's go 30 seconds right here of right at you dancing on your marks get set ah! on your marks get set go yeah whoops hold up here i'm across oh. and i'm there how's that coach that's real good that's real good i'm here I'm across, and I'm there. Yep. Go another 20 seconds, guys. Remember to travel low. Travel, travel low. low. And, Coach, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our upper body posture in a second. Uh, but let's go five more seconds, guys, of that dance. Get to the side. Come across the pipe. And then I love, I love that um, substitution of your right foot for where the glove is. That's yeah. perfect. Perfect. I just made oh. that up two minutes ago. Oh, I love it. Okay, hold the balls. We are Virtual Sandlot with Coach Duke Baxter, Instagram Live. I'm also on my YouTube. So let me just do a little recap. Yeah, yeah. We've talked. We did a little warm-up. We were just setting up our throw with a good 90-degree angle, toes, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up to the target. Then we talked about where do we feel the baseball. We want to field it glove side Glove side eye right there. Uh, that way we have a little bit of momentum going towards our target. Would you agree, Coach, that throwing side foot, it helps to have that a little bit further back than your glove side foot? Sure do. Yeah. Absolutely. Why is that, Coach? Well, because sometimes, you, you, again, you're, you're kind of creating that angle to where my ankle is now, my ankle is now set to fire. My feet are almost in that perfect line. If my left foot's back too far, now I'm kind of like regrouping to get through. So it all depends on the type of ball, right? Right. I mean, if the ball's taking us back, it's it's different. But on that routine play, it's going to be a little bit further back, and our feet are almost going to be a little bit more set to our target exactly the way you explained. That's a that's a definitely a good note. I mean, today we're really talking about that standard ball right at us. Obviously, the next time me and you meet up on uh, Sandlot, Coach, we'll talk angles. We'll talk balls in the hole, glove side. Um but then we started talking about, okay, balls hit off the bat right at me. I can't just stand still. I can't make it one-dimensional straight on. I've got to go here and make it three-dimensional. I'm throwing it either first or second base. So I'm here across the pipe, and then I exchange my right foot for the glove. Let's talk about the posture, Coach, when you field the baseball. I, I see some guys, they're bending over at the waist. I see some guys, they're down here at a catcher's squat. Is there a happy medium when it comes to fielding that ground ball? Perfect. Here's what I like to do with a, a lot of my ball players. I like to take the top of a bucket, okay? If I put my elbows on my knees, it forces my butt to go out. We don't want our butt to go down because now I'm sitting here in this position. Right. We want to make sure that we're – so if we take our elbows and put them on our knees, see how my back gets nice and flat? Yep. My back gets nice and flat, and then I dart my hands out in front so if I had a – if I had a bucket top, it should be able to sit perfectly flat on my back. Love it. Guys, if you have something you can try to balance right here, get there it there so it can go. Perfect, just like that. Now, you might think, well, let me just stand up tall, and then I can do it like this. But what's wrong with that, Coach? Okay, well, what happens? Watch my eyes. I get my weight on my heels. My head's now further away, pointing at our head as close to the ball as possible. So when I shuffle, I'm in a good athletic position. So nice. the higher I get, the further, the more I'm on my heels and the further back I am. I want to make sure I'm in that good position so when I fire my feet, I have a good posture into my throw. Love it. Um, I'll, I'll give you the floor. Do you have a drill for my kids right now? Something they can do? I don't know. Should they be walking uh, down their hallway like this? Uh, what is a drill they can work on right now? All right, here we go. The drill's on my back. I'm I love it. Field. My hands are back together. Field. 
My hands are back together. Field. 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 Watch this, coach. When I go to backhand, watch. The bucket never moved from my, so my forehand. Boom. Backhand. Boom. So that's. Love it. Love it. Position. I love that, guys. So, hey, let's go. Let's do this. We'll call it the uh, the bucket lid drill with Coach uh, Duke. And should they be tossing some balls against the wall while they're doing this, Coach? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Let's keep that thing on there as you let's travel. Go. It's not easy. Ah, not I'm easy. already – mine already slipped, Coach. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It's definitely fun, though, Coach. It's fun. It is. It is fun to see who can last the longest. I'm loving it. <laughs> Let's try a backhand. Oh, it fell over. <laughs> I love it. 20 more seconds. And let me that's know what cool, you guys are cool using. Thing, it's a cool thing, though, Coach. When a kid uh, you know, videotapes himself, he can look at Snow. He knows what he's looking for, right? Absolutely. Back. That's flat great. Back. Hey, what do you – This can't be an arch back. This is not a flat back. Good posture. See how my back is flat, not an arch back. Oh um, man, that is that is good stuff right there. I'm yep. I'm, I'm just going to spend a whole day walking around the house <laughs> just like you, this. You should we we whack the we whack the grass like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, and stop. Get a water break. And then I'm going to go hot potato up against the wall, and we're going to have a little competition. Me, you, oh, Coach Duke, uh, Knott's Berry Farm, sleepover. And Let's by the go. way, if you, if you want to see what Coach Duke Baxter looks like, check into the Instagram Live. But here we go. It's hot potato time. In 60 seconds, how many catches can you make? Just like that. Quick hands, quick feet, and then we'll talk about the exchange with Coach Duke Baxter. On your marks, guys. Get set, and then type in your number when we're done. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't have the problem of sweat falling in your eyes right now, Coach. No, I don't. It's nice and cool in New Jersey. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Stay on your toes. Keep that slight bend in your knees. Hot potato toes. You're on hot coals, guys. Keep those feet moving. Keep those feet moving. Hey, if, if, if you're just sitting there staring at your computer right now, kiddos, come on now. Come on, man. Get off that bed. Find a sock. Go against the wall. And stop. I got one every two seconds for a total of 30, Coach. How'd you do? Nice. Yeah, I got about the same. So, guys, type in your number. Sleepover, Knott's Berry Farm. Mom and Dad are watching. I wonder what they did. Anybody on Insta? My guys on Instagram, let me know what uh, what number you got as well. And Coach, I'll give you the floor here. How are you going to be able to raise your number up five, maybe ten, the next time we do this? Uh, what are you looking for? Well, what I'm looking for is kind of what we're talking about, Coach, what we've been talking about this whole time. It's how fast I can get my body to coincide with my hands. Mm -hmm. If I catch the ball, I'm kind of right the hand so far away, by the time the exchange is taking me too long. I want to have about seven, yeah, seven inches away from my hands. So I catch it, I'm ready to make that throw right away. So my hands are staying Nice and tight with my movements. Now let's get real specific with that handoff. Uh, here and then you're there. Or is this thing here before you even catch it? Um, oh, yeah. Does it I'm matter? I'm thinking this, this direction here. Not up and down. I'm kind of going this way. You see how my hands are? I like it. Right, exactly. So when I catch the ball, it's. 
So I know my throwing hand's here, so I don't want to go down and exchange it down here to have to bring it back up top. I'm gonna, yeah, it's right there. So, so is I this... Want to catch it and get ready to go right to my throw. Hey, guys, let's go ahead and do this drill real quick. Uh, what an, I feel like an animal does this. Uh, what animal does this? Does anybody... Am I going crazy or is there a, is it a T-Rex? Is it, is it, yeah, I think so. That's right. We got those T-Rex elbows in like this right here, right? Awesome. That's so good. All right, guys. Um, perfect. So with that note, let's go again. Sleepo got 40 over here. Did anybody beat that? Billy D with 27. Oh boy, Billy D, sleep over. See if you can get this T-Rex movement going with your hands and beat the number you just got. On your marks, get set, and go. Soft hands, right, coach? You got it. Awesome. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to do this with us, Coach. You got it. I'm glad. I'm, I'm excited to be here. I follow your stuff. Your stuff's fun. Oh, uh, that's, that's my whole key. I got I to bring the kids back next year. That's the whole key, right? Bring them back next year, and they'll be, they'll be loving it. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Soft, quick hands. Soft, quick hands. And... Stop. Awesome. Now, hey, there's so much more to fielding a ground ball, turning double plays, angles on the baseball, and maybe coach will come back another time uh, for I some good for, for some good times. First of all, let's give him a huge attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. And before we do our last uh, round of that same drill, maybe just one note about our toes, our feet, uh, anything specific to get us another three, maybe four catches in that minute span. I think the key to our toes is the same thing about getting getting our feet going towards our target with that left foot and we're really popping our feet, getting ready to throw, and then hopping into our position. I think getting our glove ready, that's the key. Now, if I'm sitting here like this, why can't we go as fast as I'm not really athletic? I got to make sure, you know, my butt connect position moving to the ball so I can get through it, I'm the back, move to it, through it, move through it, and through it. To it and through it. My, my, I had a couple of college buddies, they played first stop and second at Brown University, shout out Dito and Jeff Nichols, but they never played catch like this, just flat-footed, just playing a catch like you were in the backyard with your buddy. They were always doing something specific, they had something in mind, and this was one of them, just the hot potato, the hot potato coming through, turn the double play. Then quickly get back and do it again. And, and maybe we'll close on that. Let's go one more, and then you can have the closing thought on just how, how a ball player is supposed to practice. All right, kiddos, on your marks. Get set. Go. Beat that number you just got. Do it and through it. Pa -pa -pa -pa. It's like my toes are going pat 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 pat. I would argue that the sound should be pretty quiet, huh, Coach? Pretty quiet. Quiet the feet, but yet aggressive through the throw. Nice. 25 seconds remaining. Remember, the way you practice right now, especially during this quarantine, you're going to show yes. up to the tryouts this summer or next fall, whenever we start playing again. And if you're practicing hard, everybody's going to be like, whoa, what happened to that dude? Yes. He's got muscles now. He's faster. Three. And you know what else, Coach? I think another thing is they got to, uh, you know, you have to challenge yourself. You know, you have to challenge yourself. It's not, okay, I got 10. I got, well, how do I get 12? Yeah. Like you kept saying, every one of these rounds, I got to get a little bit better. Stop. I get a little, Stop, boys. Day. Stop, boys. I want you to hear this. Uh, that round is over. Team meeting pose, on a knee, shoulders back. Uh, Coach Duke Baxter has got the final thought here.
continue, Coach, uh, where you left off. Perfect. Yes. You know, when I'm doing a drill, I always try to beat myself. I saw this uh, this challenge that Trent uh, and Trotsky did. They called it a uh, you know a quick hands challenge. The first day I did it, I got 38, and I thought that was amazing. I'm like 38 in 20 seconds, like you know, boom, 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 boom. Then I made a phone call, and Trent said that his son got in the low 40s. I was like, what? 40? So every day I would next you know 43, 44. 48. I got to 50. The day that I got to 50, he got to 54. Why? Because the competition keeps you going. So when you're doing drills and you can go this speed, right? That's that's one speed. When now all of a sudden, if you're trying to beat that score, you find this speed. Then if you're trying to beat somebody else, you're trying to get a speed that's so fast. <laughs> And hey, we found our hashtag. All right, Baxter Ball Game. Hashtag Baxter Ball Game. That's a drill right there. How many can you get in 60 seconds? Sleepover with 42. Billy D in the house with a lot. But try to get more and more. And when you do it, and if you post the video, hashtag Baxter Ball Game. There's no other hashtags named that, so we'll be able to see it right away and tag us in it as well. But. Uh, what an honor, man, to have you, you know, like, guys, Coach Duke Baxter, he's not getting paid for this or anything. He showed up because he loves seeing kids get better at baseball. I'm forever grateful, man. I appreciate you coming. Coach Ballgame, anytime you need something, let me know and I'll be here. You're the man. You're the man. Great to meet you. This is how I'm meeting everybody these Great days. Great to meet you too, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Easy, okay? All right. We'll see you, Coach. Have a great night. All right, all right. Guys, great job today. I'm sweating. I hope you are too. That was epic. Tomorrow, we've got gold medalist Amanda Freed. She won a gold medal in the Olympics. Epic softball player for UCLA. Uh, and she's going to be working. So if you have any sisters uh, that want to learn, and she's going to teach the boys too. So it's going to be epic. So a great week of coaches coming in. So guys, awesome job. See you, coach. boy. All right, all right. Woo-wee. All right. Good job, sleepover. Knott's Berry. Mom and Dad. That guy's awesome, isn't he?